Harvard professor calls for a ban on homeschooling because universities can't brainwash homeschooled students. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on The Daily Wire, Harvard professor wants a presumptive ban on homeschooling, claims it promotes white supremacy. Oh my goodness, the maymays are real. Professors these days at universities want to brainwash our children, the next generation, with ideas like progressivism and regressive ideology. Of the leftist variety, of course. You ever met a Harvard professor who was an enraging leftist? I know, me neither. So this article's by Emily Zanotti. Oh boy, this ought to be good. It ought to be real good. And I've got a few stories to show you about how homeschooling is actually very positive and homeschooled students actually outperform students who go to public schools. So we're gonna take a look at all that. For now, let's see what they have to say. In a shocking essay for Harvard Magazine, a professor of law and director of Harvard Law School's Child Advocacy Legal Clinic claims homeschooling is a threat to children's rights, a method of promoting white supremacy, <laughs> and a drain on democratic society, and even goes so far to suggest a national presumptive ban on the practice. Now, the first thing I think we need to point out is that homeschooling is actually very positive. All right, here we are on nheri.org. Here it says, research facts on homeschooling. Homeschooling Fast Facts by Brian D. Ray, Ph.D. I want to show you this. The home educated typically score, and that's someone who is homeschooled, 15 to 30 percentile points above public school students on standardized academic achievement tests. In other words, homeschooled students outperform students who go to public school. So that's just one fact. It also goes on to say a study from 2015 found black homeschooled students to be scoring 23 to 42 percentile points above black homeschool students. So not only is it good for your average student, it's good for pretty much all demographics and actually even better if you happen to be a minority. You would think that would be good news for leftists. Hmm. It's almost like they don't care about minorities. I certainly care. I think more people need to be homeschooled. And you know, there are a lot of facts here, but all the data pretty much shows that homeschooling continually outperforms public schools. So why would they be so threatened? I could only be led to believe it's because they want to brainwash our children. Here the article goes on to say, Harvard is playing host to a homeschooling summit slated to take place at least digitally June 18th to 19th according to the Daily Caller News Foundation. But Harvard's concern isn't so much whether homeschooling is viable, cost-effective, and comfortable method of education for many Americans, but rather whether homeschooling is, and homeschooled children are, a ticking time bomb. Yeah, they're so afraid, because the reality is, universities have become nothing more than indoctrination centers. And it's a lot of leftism. It's a lot of regressive leftist ideology. Many people have talked about this issue. Jordan Peterson, for example, has long since talked about postmodernism and how it plagues the public school system. They push culturally Marxist ideas. You ever notice that? I used to know a girl who was a childhood friend and a little bit more than that. And as soon as she went to higher education, as soon as she went to university, she became a raging SJW a raging feminist, a raging insane person. She was completely and utterly brainwashed. I've seen it with my own eyes. And that was one of the first major red pills in my life. For the love of God, if you want your daughters to not be crazy, keep them out of college or at least homeschool them. Don't send them to one of these indoctrination centers because they will be ruined. I've seen it with my own eyes. So the article continues, the summit brings together a number of experts from across the spectrum to discuss the problems of education deprivation and child maltreatment that too often occur under the guise of homeschooling in a legal environment of minimal or no oversight. So, yeah, you see right there, they're not really a f they're not really worried about child mistreatment. If anything, the public school system mistreats children. We were all students in the American public system, and let me tell you this. What is the worst part about school? If you're being bullied or if you get in fights 
everyone is punished because of nonsense policies like no tolerance and no child left behind. You have a lot of students who shouldn't be moving up the ranks, moving up the ranks when they should be held back, and you basically have a mass bullying problem. Oh, schools don't care if you're being bullied. They never do anything about it. Now, I was never bullied myself because I always fought. No one bullied me because if they did, well, well, let's just say that's because uh, I didn't tolerate such behavior. But the reality is a lot of kids who are being bullied have no recourse. They can't talk to anybody. The school turns a blind eye. And then when the student finally stands up for themselves, what does the school system do? They punish those students and suspend them. Such a backward, stupid system. Here they expose their insanity. Professor Elizabeth Bartholet is leading the charge against those who actively resist public schools, and she believes that the generation currently being homeschooled is an eventual, if not active, breeding ground for racism, sexism, and isolationism. Isn't it obvious, folks? They're complaining that they can't brainwash our children with leftist idiocy. They're complaining that they can't brainwash children to be woke, liberal, social justice warriors who will fight for things like socialism and other things that are bad for America. We all know this, but they make it so apparent. What exactly does homeschooling have to do with isolationalism? What does it have to do with any of this? The answer is nothing. You morons. Many homeschool precisely because they want to isolate their children from ideas and values central to public education and to our democracy. And this, and this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our, our democracy. democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. You mean socialism and the decay of Western society? Many promote racial segregation and female subservience. I really want to know where they're getting this idea from because it sounds like uh, deranged nonsense. I'm going to assume they're talking about traditional values when they talk about females. Look, teaching people that there's a difference between men and women and that men pee pee standing up and that women don't, I don't think that's a crime. And I don't think that promotes female subservience. Modern feminism is really just a cult that teaches women to hate men and that men are to blame for everything, even though the modern Western woman is one of the most spoiled generations on Earth. They're really treated very well in Western society. Many question science. You know, this is what I hate about the left. They're all about science until the science disagrees with their woke ideology, aka differences between genders, the fact that there's only two genders, the fact that average IQ differences exist. For example, in women, Women have a higher average IQ. In other words, the average woman is smarter than the average man on average. But when it comes to the dumbest people and when it comes to the smartest people, men are more in both accounts. So there's more really smart men than really smart women and more really dumb men than really dumb women. You know, pros and cons. Women traded top tier intelligence for being more well-rounded on average. While men, yes, tend to be dumber, are also the smartest of the smart on average. Not to mention differences in average IQ between different racial groups. This is very real. For example, for example, Asians have some of the highest IQs, while other racial groups have lower IQs on average. All of this is documented, proven, science. And yet, when it comes to these facts, they deny it. Many are determined to keep their children from exposure to views that might enable autonomous choice about their future lives, she claims. Wow. You know, I love how, I just love how they phrase this. Because at the end of the day, that's exactly what they want to do. The left always projects. They want the children to come to school so they can brainwash the students and tell them what to believe. They're literally complaining that they can't brainwash the youth. This is what... This is what socialists do. These are the actions of communists. In the essay for Harvard Magazine, Bartholo, oh, is that his name? Bartholo, not Bartholet, who knows? Goes one step further arguing, not just that homeschooling is itself problematic, but that it should be snuffed out as a practice by the heavy hand of the American government. You know what? I think the whole education system is a joke. I think it needs to be abolished. Um, the current education system is built on rote 
what that basically means is you remember stuff and then you throw it up. So memorization, which isn't learning, all because schools wanted to push standardization of tests because it's big money and it's simple, but this isn't learning. The modern education system isn't about learning at all. At all, it's just memorizing. That's not the same thing. It's honestly a joke. So they go on to say, homeschooling, she says, not only violates children's right to meaningful education and the right to be protected from potential child abuse, but may keep them from contributing positively to a democratic society. The article's author reports, this woman is insane. She's absolutely lost it. I can't believe it. Like, this woman is literally arguing against freedom in actual education. She literally believes that she is the moral authority and only she can raise and mold your children. If I was, if you're a parent listening to this, you should be alarmed because this is what a lot of educators, so-called educators in modern society, this is what they really think. They think that you're too dumb to raise and teach your own children. I find it insulting. So the article goes on to point out the obvious here. Her assumption is that homeschoolers represent a wide swath of American families and are largely uneducated themselves and looking to keep their children in the dark. In other words, she thinks that if you're homeschooling, you're dumb and that she, the liberal elite, needs to teach your children for you, aka brainwash them. And she goes on to complain that a lot of these homeschooled people are religious and that they promote questionable beliefs. Now, I will admit, I do agree that there's a lot of those crazy religious zealots out there because I used to know one. I used to know a kid, it was really sad, whose mom was a raging, raging Bible thumper. She didn't let him watch SpongeBob because the town they lived in was called Bikini Bottom. She was absolutely insane and this kid could barely read. I was reading at his age, but he could barely read because of his mother. I agree, some people are crazy, but I also know that homeschooling on average is better for almost everyone. So yes, there are cases in which some people take it too far, but you can shove it up your butt if you're gonna tell me, well, these conservatives wanna homeschool their children. That's bad. You know, you know, no, screw you. So here this professor says, children who attend public school grow up exposed to community values, social values, democratic values, ideas about non-discrimination and tolerance of other people's viewpoints. Oh, the irony, the delicious utter irony. How about Mrs. Uh, Bartholet, Bartholo, whoever you are, why don't you have some tolerance for other people's viewpoints who maybe don't believe in the corrupt, degenerate system that you represent and want to homeschool their children and keep them from being brainwashed? Okay, children do not belong to the state. The state belongs to children. And you know what? The state belongs to us. But you know what, my friends? That's pretty much the story. Now, we have a few commenters here that kind of mirror what I was saying. Zhang says, not just a better education, one that lacks Marxist indoctrination. With that, I would absolutely agree. That is pretty much, uh, that, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. I hope that more people hear about what this Harvard professor had to say and realize that higher education is nothing more than brainwashing. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? You know, I think that especially lately, because the left is in going crazy because Trump became president. They all suffer from TDS, Trump derangement syndrome. I think ever since that happened, they've been way more transparent about their propaganda. Now it's so obvious, even a normie could look at this and be like, wow, that's insane. This person is crazy. So you know what? I hope they keep blabbering their mouths because as long as they do, as long as they keep exposing themselves for the regressive leftists they are, the more red pills they'll drop and the more truth will be known. But let me know what you think. Now, as always, if you want to support the work I do, you can join me on Patreon or subscribe store. If you do join, you will get access to a private Discord server. If you want to donate, you can do so through DonorBox or Bitcoin. Links and addresses are down below in the description. Now, I know times are tough. So one of the best things you can do for the channel that costs absolutely nothing is to share the video by posting it on social media or just sharing it with people as a red pill. After all, that's why I make these videos, as mini red pills to show more people what's going on in this crazy world of ours. Anyhow, thanks for watching. 
Have a great day. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.